Hi guys, welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. Today, we're going to do a comparison. We're going to put David against Goliath and see who is going to win. Let's take a look. Go. Okay, guys, so today we're going to have a confrontation. We're going to have a bloody battle between two important recordings. The same recordings, but on two different mediums, two different masters. What am I talking about? I'm talking about these two guys. The Alan Parsons Project second album, I, Robot, 1977. One of the best albums by Alan Parsons and in general of the 70s, I think. This was done, engineered directly by Alan Parsons uh, right after or, or very close to the Dark Side of the Moon. As we all know, he was the engineer of that. So, and today we're gonna just see what happens if we listen to a normal, crappy uh, version. I bought this in Italy for just a few euro. It's it's not even an original first series. Just see flashback. It's something I don't know that a normal third fourth reissue, but that to my ears was pretty good, and that's why I decided to choose this against the Goliath, the Super Audio CD released just um, I think two years ago. Obviously obtained from the original master tapes, uh, ultra gain sound. Uh, I mean, all everything is correctly done. With, with this format, obviously it's DSD, and it should be, on the digital side, one of the best versions available today. So, we're going to compare these two little guys here. No, this was, this was released in 2016, I can see here. So, I'm going to put now a, a short piece of, not, well, not too short. I mean, I want, we want to hear a little bit of, of iRobot. I'm going to put the first track first of i don't know i'm not going to tell you one of these two and then the second version after that you try and guess first of all which is which and obviously decide which one you prefer okay guys afterwards obviously i'm going to tell you who is who what is what let's dive in
Okay, guys, so have you listened to two versions? Did you, have you decided which is which, which is the best? Apart from this, please remember that in the video description here below the, the video, I inserted two links so you can download a 24 bits, 192 kilohertz sampling rate of these two versions. So you can have a better comparison on your system with your um, headphones, etc. Okay? Because obviously com uh, YouTube compressed everything, so it's not going to be a very faithful comparison. Obviously, we're talking about two digital files. One is supposed to be analog, but since I can't have you guys here with me in my uh, living room, this is the only way I can try to share this uh, confrontation between David and Goliath. Okay, so let's get to it. Are you ready? Pause the video if you're not. Otherwise, proceed. So... The first version was the Super Audio CD. Uh, as you noticed, I decided to start the version a little after the, the real beginning of track one of iRobot of the song, because otherwise, since it's a little silent, you would have noticed more the tape hiss. Because in fact, version number two obviously was the tape, the cassette which does have a lot of tape piss, absolutely. So I hope that didn't already trigger uh, the, your, your answer. Hopefully that wasn't so clear, but I'm, I'm not so sure about that. In any case, apart from tape piss, apart from anything, what do you think? I wanna do an immediate comparison with the two spectrum analysis of the two versions. So as you can see, the Super Audio CD and the cassette do have a very similar spectrum, as you can notice. Obviously, they're coming from the master tape, which is rather limited. So the Super Audio CD is not going to bear uh, 30, 40,000 kilohertz frequencies. They're not there. As you can see, though, we have this huge peak going from 40 to 60,000 which is something typical of Super Audio CDs because that's the noise shaping filter that is applied which goes in the ultrasonic range in order to contrast in DSD the noise that is generated with that one bit conversion. So we all, all always have that strange peak over there but we don't care about that. We care about the rest. So if, you, if we check both of the, uh, of the shapes Obviously, the Super Audio CD has a very high dynamic range. It's even louder, actually. And uh, the cassette in instead is very, very low. But remember what we just heard about the two tracks. In my most humble opinion, I do not see that much difference. I don't know you guys what you think. But if you think, again, if you think that this cassette 
is just a normal reissue or maybe it's it's it maybe it is uh, because it does say it's 1977 but it's not the original high quality version because this flashback is a series a, a, a secondary series a special price series you know what i talk about so nothing special but i was shocked about the quality of this cassette i have also other versions on lp and i constantly keep coming back to this so maybe we have some a little bit more nuances. We have obviously a higher dynamic range, not extremely higher, but a little bit more higher here. And obviously the LP. But in the end, I keep going back to this. And again, I was amazed because this is little David and this is Goliath, not only in the price, but also the production, the mastering techniques, all the, uh, <clears throat> as I said before, the ultra disc, ultra gain HD, all the, the processing done by Mofi to do an excellent product <coughs> for digital, which obviously is not present. I'm sorry, I keep saying obviously. That's one of my favorite words, I guess. Uh, is not present here. Although this is close in any case, even if it's a pre-recorded tape, highly speed dubbed, close to the master tape as well. And in fact, the results are amazing. Okay, guys, I want to know what you think now. Write your comments. Give me more ideas and suggestions on these, this type of comparison. Do you have a cassette, a little flimsy cassette that out, outtakes, uh, out surpasses a, a high quality LP or digital version? Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, music is born. Hello.